Okay, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing something I like to call grid trees, and it's a very complicated project, but we're going to shrink it to make it a little bit easier for remote learning. So anyways, let's get going. Alright, so for this project, uh, I chose to do it on just regular paper like always, uh, but I've decided to shrink it a little bit, so what I did was I took a ruler, and I shrunk it by two inches. So the ruler, if you didn't know, is about an inch thick. So I just went twice. So I went here, and I went back again, and I made my line here, over here, and I made my line, and then so on, in order to create a smaller uh, perimeter, and it has a nice uh, two inch frame. So with that said, um, I did that because, again, it's gonna take a while if I did the whole page just like how I did with this one. Uh, and again, uh, during the school year, this would normally take the uh, you guys about uh, two weeks or so. So two art visits, or if not three. Um, so try to make it smaller, or try to cut your paper a little bit to make it a little bit smaller, and then it should be a little bit easier for you guys. So anyways, um, I'm gonna need a circle to create the circle on the top. So I chose a piece of tape, and I'm gonna put it in the middle, sorry, the middle top, and then I'm gonna trace it. So what I'm gonna trace it with, I'm gonna trace it with a pencil. So you might not be able to see my pencil line because it is video, and I don't wanna draw too dark. There we go. And then I'm gonna make the tree trunk itself. So I'm gonna try to wave down. I have to make an S. Start from the top. Wave down a little bit. Ta-da! I'm gonna go again. But this time I'm gonna go starting close, and then it's gonna slowly go further apart, just like that. All right. I want to do the landscape here, so where the grass would go. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a hump right there, and slowly arc it out. And then for the branches, I do have a certain technique I like to use. I have to go from the tree trunk, make my way out. And then I have to go like this, then go back out again, and then kind of go back. Just like that. And that's how I do one branch. If you want to do a more advanced way, I've seen kids kind of go out like this, like always. And then instead of going that, you go from the trunk instead, go out to make a branch, come back, and then go back out like that. That's available too. So I'm gonna keep going, making more branches. Maybe I'll stop right there, come back, go all the way out. So you can kind of like just make up your own type of branches here and there. This one's gonna have a couple. There we are, there we are. All right, my branches are done. Now, you have the gist of the circle to frame the tree itself, uh, but what I'm gonna do now is frame everything. So this one has a blue sky uh, and then fall colors for the leaves or representing the leaves of the grid. And then I'm gonna do the reverse for mine. So I'm gonna keep this out here so you guys can see what it looks like with just a normal sky. Uh, but for this one, I'm thinking I'm, thinking I'm gonna do um, a sunset instead. So in order to do the sunset, all you gotta do is pick the correct color. So for sunset, it's gonna be yellow, orange, and red. And then I'm gonna make that the reverse of this picture. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make my grid now on the inside. So I have a place where to go. So I'm gonna do this in pencil first. Um, I think this might be too large, but we'll see. You're gonna cover the whole page, or the, your whole image, I should say, just like this. And try to evenly space it as best as you can. I think I have space for, for one more, there we go. And then you're gonna go horizontal as well. So I think I'm gonna go a little bit lower, because I think my ruler's too thick. All right, this is not gonna be exactly an inch apart but I had to make it a tad bit smaller for it to fit better. All right, there we go. It's looking good so far. Uh, they might look like rectangles to you. That's because I kind of adjusted the horizontal stripes just so I have more squares. But anyways, I got the pre-draw done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna outline the tree with marker. I prefer to use black. If you wanna use brown, you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include the branches here, just like so. And avoid that part of the tree trunk that I drew. So again, I might as well go like this so I don't make a mistake by accident. There we go. That way I don't accidentally trace um, those parts of the tree. I might as well do this one. I might as well do that one while I'm here. There we go. All right, the tree trunk is almost done. All right, tree trunk is now officially done. So now I know not to draw in those areas. 
And I can go back with an eraser later on to make it a little bit more clean, but I'll do that much later. All right, trees all done. Uh, I do have an orange marker and a green marker here out on purpose because I want to do the land. And I changed my mind because I thought I was going to do the same tree like this, a uh, fall tree, but I'm going to change it to purple instead, or blue. Let's do purple. So I'm going to change this to a purple tree, or purple outline of the circle. And I'm going to make sure I don't go inside the tree trunk. That would be not what I want. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to color. Uh, but before I color, I can clean it up a tad bit. So I'm not going to erase the grid. Uh, well, I am going to erase the grid, but I'm not going to erase the parts that I need. So for instance, um, for inside the tree trunk, it is going to be white. If you want to make a completely black tree, then go for it. Um, I don't want to waste my Sharpie, so I will not do that. <laughs> All right, here's the hard part. I got to go in between each of these branches. Make sure they're nice and clean. Here we go. Erasing a little bit of the grid. I can always redraw the grid if I erase parts I need. All right. Here we go. There's that part. I'm gonna squeeze my eraser. This is a kneaded eraser, by the way, if you don't remember what it is. It, uh, I like this one better than a normal, you know, pink eraser because this leaves residue and I don't like having residue and um, shavings, uh, eraser shavings on my paper because it makes the area dirty. And uh, kneaded erasers, you can kind of like shape it to anything you want. So that's why I like these things. All right, so all my racing is done. I mean, I could do a little bit better job, but it's okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, for the grass, I'm gonna pick as many green colors as I can. I'm gonna do this, this. I think there's a dark green somewhere there. And this one right here. And I'm gonna make sure the colors don't touch each other. Uh, what I mean by that is that they're not side by side. So I'm gonna make maybe this section right here, this color. And then I'll make a color beside it, not that color, but still green. So it's kind of like how we did for last year, the monochromatic ice cream, if you remember that project. Um, but we're gonna make sure that the colors are different. Here's another one. So there's a dark green. Looking good. I can probably go back to this color in this section right here. And while I'm at it, I might as well do another section right here. Since I'm holding it. There you go. Alright, let's do a dark one right here. Let's put this dark one away. Let's see, what color is this one? Oh yeah, I haven't done this green yet. So I lost track, but I'm glad I got it right. There we go. Let's see. I could probably do the same green right here. Because I am starting to get confused here. <laughs> um, I think I could do this tiny one right here, and then I'm going to create this one right there. Alright, I'm done with the green after I'm done with this little box, and crayon does leave a little bit of residue, just gotta wipe it off gently. Alright, I'm gonna put my greens away. Now, I did say I was gonna do opposite of what I did over here, or what the student did over here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the stuff in the inside of the tree is what was out here. So blue, purple, and pinks. I could probably do green too if I wanted to, but I don't wanna do green. Uh, and then on the outside, I'm gonna do sunset. Now with sunset, uh, it is a grid, so you're gonna have to be very careful with this. So I'm gonna have to pick this color. Let's see, there has to be a red somewhere. This is red-orange. Let's choose actual red. Ooh. Red and real orange. Is this real orange? It's okay. Let's choose... Oh, this is actually real orange. Ah, that's more of a darker orange. But it is real orange. Okay. Why don't I do, um... Let's do this one. That looks pretty. Right, these are light, uh, warm colors. So warm colors on this side, and then cool colors on the inside. Alright, here I go. I'm just gonna hold one color in my hand, and just kinda like jump around. I found that to be the easiest way to complete this project. So if you just kind of like hold on to the same color crayon and just uh, sporadically go to the areas where um, you don't think they're going to collide, then that would be my best bet for you guys, for you guys to do. 
So that's what I'm doing right now. Just making sure I can hit a couple spots here and there. All right, maybe I'll do this spot right here. All right, now I can put this color away. So see how easy that was? So now I can go my next one. Maybe I'll do yellow. Yellow can go in a couple spots here and there. And I can already tell that this is gonna take me way faster than uh, what we normally do during the school year because we are going a tad bit smaller unless you chose to do a bigger piece. And that's fine too. Head right here. Notice how I'm outlining the boxes before I color them in. Uh, that's optional, you don't have to do that. It's just me trying to be more, um, more precise on what I'm doing. Kind of gives me a frame of where to color. And again, you don't have to do that. It's just me. All right. I'm probably gonna have to pick another color again because I don't think this last color is gonna be able to go on its own. Actually, you know what? Maybe it can. I just gotta fill in this box. Oh wait, no. I gotta fill this box in with red. And then I gotta fill in this box in with red. Then the rest of the squares can be this color because then they won't touch each other. All right, yeah, perfectly planned. I meant to do that. <laughs> All right, let's make sure my colors are back to normal. There you go, I'm terrible at keeping organized. Yeah, let's put these markers back. Okay. All right, let's keep going. There's the orange. Orange right here. Orange, you glad that I picked orange? there. All right. We're almost done with the outside sky. And it's looking really good and abstract. I'm liking it. I hope you guys enjoy this project. I really like this project because um, the way it turns out, it turns out really good. Wow, that looks really amazing. All right, next step. I'm going to pick some cool colors to emphasize the inside of the tree. So I'm going to pick some colors that I like. I like this color. It looks cool. Uh, deep purple. Uh, let's see, this kind of blue. Um, let's see, this kind of purple. And I think that's all I'm gonna need. So here we go. Make sure you stick inside the grid. That way it doesn't look incorrect. All right. Let's pick this grid system right here. Make sure you don't hit the branches or color inside the branches, you don't want that. Um, if you color the tree black, um, you shouldn't have that issue. But um, if you do, now I warned you. All right, inside over here. If I'm falling behind on time, I'm gonna speed up the video right now, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. But if you guys are still here, that means we're good on time and I did not speed up the video. <laughs> properly? Is that how I put it away properly? I don't know. Oh, there's a spot right there. There we go. Okay. Well, wipe it off when you're done. Make sure it's nice and clean. If you want to autograph it, go ahead. Mr. Mill. And I'm done. All right. 
that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I'm sure I did. I couldn't believe I did that in like one sitting, but uh, or standing. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. That's the main point. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Ooh.